Hello everyone and welcome to my first video of Coherence tutorial series. Coherence is a new network engine that make you make the scan lets you make multiplayer games in less than 15 minutes and less than 10 minutes if you want and port any single player game you have into a multiplayer project very very easy with servers like rooms or like worlds like in animal RPGs. Now let's start with our video. First of all, let's see our scene. Here a basic scene for a first person contour made by Unity and you can find it on the asset store. Link is in the, is in the description too. Now first we need to install coherence in Unity. So we start with go to edit project settings and package manager to enable the pre-release packages click on understand and head to our coherence developer portal after you make your account here we find the connect units projects click download SDK and we scroll down until you reach here, the add scope code register. Now we shall copy. Wait. Name, then URL and scope. And you click save. We wait for our loading. Now we exit. Next, we go to the package manager, click packages. We can after we install coherence, we're gonna have this pop up. We can we gonna click to open the coherence hub to get started. I'll close this one and I'll paint this one here. First of all, we need to log in. We're gonna press the sign up login and go to our navig internet navigator. If you're already connected here, you're gonna get an auto connection. If not, you need to type your email password again. So here we have authentication is successful. Please return to your Unity editor. Here we're back. Now we need we need to select some organization and projects. By default, we will find a default organization projects. And now we get back to our scene. Now we start with the scene setup. So first we need to click coherence, scene setup, create mono bridge. Okay, we have our mono bridge, then scene setup live query. Here is the area that's that we're gonna need to network. The area that's gonna be networked between all the players. So we're not we set to 000 and push the radius to 90. So we can network all the of the surrounding here, and the radius depends on your on your scene. Now we're gonna add as the coherence UI, so we can choose and connect to other players. Scene so up, add sample UI, and this is our UI. And now we start with seeking the player. First of all, let's select our player. In, my, in this case, we're gonna select this player capsule. We're gonna, we're gonna unpack it because it's a prefab here. And we need to make it our own prefab. So, play in as component and type sync to file coherent sync. Now, the ask us 
to convert into a pre file. Personally, for an easier setup, just convert it in the brief in the resources folder because it works it works best with coherence. We're gonna convert it and now we got our own prefab and here when in, in load select the resources if it's not already done. Now click the configure and we, we're gonna find our new tab. We go to components and select what we should not sync because we don't want to control other players we're gonna disable the character controller the first person controller the assets inputs and in the player inputs player inputs and character controllers must always be disabled other components depends and here we go to variables to select what we want to sync here we need to sync the position the rotation and the and our move speed because we no we don't, we don't need the move speed that's that's all we need that's all we need to sync in the in the case of our first person controller now we're gonna test it test it we need to make sure that the project the game can run in background go to project settings layer select your system and choose run in background also make sure you can use your mouse by going to play inputs I mean uh, my, I mean start to ask input and disable dis disable the cursor lock save go to set build build and build settings and build and run after building the game we find it here you may not find any servers in, in the region, that is because you have no servers yet. In my case, this Europe server is for another game I made with coherence. To fix that, just go to our, our Unit projects, coherence and click local server and run local room server. For local worlds, I'm gonna explain it on another video soon. Run our local room server. It's gonna show starting and now we're gonna also join from the editor so we can see two players in the scene and now after that we have our own game build and join from the editor too in the game let's go to create a room let's name it something like test and create and join here as you can see we can move and we can disconnect from the bottom there now let's stand here so we can take a look at the other player here let's select the let's refresh and here is the room what we found you can see the other player here can move so let's try to see if we can actually see the other the other players yeah you see you can see the player move and you can see the player jump that was all with the video i hope you like it guys because this is the first time i, I try to make a tutorial for unity I haven't been using it for almost two years now. Now let's just have some fun doing some parkour in the scene. And at the end, let's click this connect to get out of the room. And in case you guys need any help, please feel free to join my Discord, which you're gonna find a link in the description and ask for anything you need. Coherence also got a discord server which are very very active 
community made most of the time of coherent employees themselves. They can help you. They can help you at any problem you got, like I did to prepare the subjects of my next video.